I thought she really loved me. But she ain't nothing but a cute face and a big butt. We see that in the hood all day. Oh my god. We got a big problem here. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So you join me back in the garage again and uh, we have a bit of an issue. So my elite directo smart trainer, which I use for training, pretty much 100% of all my trainings all in this uh, machine, as you'll have seen from previous films and my Facebook posts. Check out Speedy Clark Facebook. Um, this is what I use for all my training as I've specified and it's been absolutely faultless, flawless, great power, great consistency and for some bizarre reason in the last 24 hours it's decided to fail. So when I mean in terms of fail, um, I seem to be consistently 50 watts of power down and it feels like I'm riding through treacle and mud when using the trainer. Uh, it keeps unpairing itself, uh, the power keeps sticking at 151 watts, I don't know why, heart rate drops in, drops out, not sure what is going on at all, so that is not ideal from the perspective of consistent training. Now, as you guys will know, because of my busy lifestyle and uh, minimum time frames, and minimum time frames for trying to get my training carried out so I'm looking at maximum efficiency I don't have time to be faffing around with trainers with calibrating with spending hours on the phone through to call centers for repair so I'm nipping down to pedal power pedal power West Calder which is within my area remit it's only 12 miles from my house and because I would deem YouTube as part of what I do as well as working full time and my training and the cycling team etc I would deem that as essential and part of work so there are no issues there before you hit the comments and be negative alright so we're all within the rules and this is perfectly legit I can do this that's not a problem I've already checked it out so this is a big problem for me because I have done my first session this morning. So basically my first session this morning was a fasted ride for an hour. Mito sitting at about 190 watts, 95 to 100 RPM cadence. So for me to even hit 190 watts this morning on this machine as it currently sits, which broke yesterday, um, my heart rate's sitting at 162 BPM, which for me is actually sweet spot into zone four, and I could feel that effort in the legs, so not consistent at all. It's not just wishful thinking. It's not the fact that something bizarre's happened with myself. It is the trainer. Something's happened with the trainer. I don't know what. Now, as I say, this elite trainer has been amazing. It's now about, I think it's three years old for this model. Um... It had been used prior to me getting uh, the Elite slightly, I think for demonstration purposes. So not entirely sure of how many kilometers or miles I've went through this, but I know I've done about 8,000 kilometers on it at least anyway. So uh, yeah, it's it has an issue and you know, I don't have the luxury of mega amounts of money, but in this case, I need to be a bit, stupid in terms of what I'm about to do so I cannot miss any training time the training time for me at this moment in time is absolutely critical um, especially with the minimal amount of hours I can train because of my work business family lifestyle uh, so every second counts for me in terms of training so I don't as I said have the time to be faffing around um, pissing around trying to get trainers to work so this is going into pedal power. They're going to kindly send it to Elite for me to see if they can sort it out, see what's wrong with it. Um, it may just have to be binned. I don't know. So in the process of doing that, I am now going to go pick up uh, the brand new kicker trainer. Um, so super awesome that pedal power have been able to accommodate this so fast. I literally just called them last night after getting very frustrated during my training session. So uh, right, off to pedal power now and new trainer time. I thought she really loved me. She ain't nothing but a cute face and a big butt. We see that in the hood all day.
Okay, so you guessed it, the legends at Pedal Power came to my rescue once again. They're always rescuing me when uh, something happens with technology, which uh, is inevitable, I suppose. So they've kindly taken the Elite Trainer. They're going to try and sort that out with Madison, um, which is brilliant. See if we can do some with warranty, because it's a 2018 machine and it's just kind of stopped working for whatever reason. But as, you can, as you'll have seen from the B-roll film footage, we have the brand new Wahoo Kicker which looks absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to have to clean my garage because this is so nice and shiny. Oh, we've got some nice Wahoo stickers. We've got a, an instruction book. Do we need to read that? Don't think so. Don't think we need that. So I've taken the quick release axle out because it comes with a through axle, which is what I need. Um... And a spacer there if you want to go to 10 speed. Now the 11 speed cassette, Shimano comes on anyway. So that's 11 to, what is it? 11 to 28. So that's absolutely perfect. No issues with that at all. So we'll get this thing set up and hopefully it'll work okay. Alright, so, so far very straightforward, very easy. Just unbox it, move the legs out. It comes with the adapted feet to give you some cushioning and a little bit of movement but it seems absolutely solid quite heavy um but very good so we'll crack on and get this set up okay so the trainer was super easy to set up absolutely easy just a case of pressing down the tabs opening up the legs and you have an adjustment here so you can ad adjust 24 26 700c 650b and also 29er mountain bike and you can get your absolute level dialed in now please note that the kicker does not come with a front wheel mount um this is one that i have from the previous trainer and also one again from the previous tax trainer that i had so i've had a tax elite and now we're on to wahoo i do love the wahoo brand i use the wahoo element bolt bike computer so we will get into Zwift and we will see how this thing rides. Okay so that's the Wahoo kicker all uh, plumbed in up and running and this trainer is absolutely amazing it's so smooth um, it does feel like very much like uh, you're out riding on the road. Super impressed, really impressed with this uh, machine setup. Power in conjunction with my power meter pedals when checking them out. It's like I think the calculation round about plus or minus two percent. Absolutely fine, no issues. They seem to climb and drop off in conjunction. Um, I think it's good, feels great. The resistance comes in nice when uh, it's simulating the hill climbs. Yeah, super, absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, I liked my previous trainer, the Elite Directo. I thought that was a very, very good machine. Um, I think this one feels, the Wahoo Kicker feels better in terms of realistic compared to road riding so much much better we're just warming up got a nasty session today so we're in the 15 minute warm up phase and then I'm into uh, some very hard VO2 max intervals 10 of them super duper over an hour and 15 minutes which includes warm up and cool down so we're looking at a TSS score around about 80 today training stress score of 80 today so very good. So yeah, no, I'm super impressed with the Wahoo Kicker. It's 999 pounds, so a thousand pounds. It's quite a bit of money, but given the situation we're in now with, uh, you know, lockdown for what will be very soon a year, not full lockdown, but obviously a year with COVID and all these restrictions, etc., coming up very shortly. So yeah. Tough times, tough times. So uh, it's about making the best of it, supporting your local businesses. So I've got this um, 
Wahoo kicking unit from Pedal Power West Calder Scotland as I've mentioned they're absolutely legends fantastic amazing bike shop so uh, check them out one of, Scot one of Scotland's biggest bike shops actually so really really impressed with this kicker absolutely impressed with it so we'll see how it stands up if, if I do have a gripe I, I do have a little thing which I've noticed and that is see when you're out of the saddle and you're sprinting and you're going above 700 watts there seems to be a click almost like a crunch coming from the back now I actually thought it was my bike it felt like it was my bike frame um, I've checked the bike out bike's absolutely fine didn't do it on my Elite and it looks like because it's a, a through axle it looks like it's the the through axle adapter that you put in to make the change from quick release to through axle it looks like that when you're really going for it out the saddle there's a slight little movement in that and uh, it, it basically creates a knocking sound now I have taken it out read through the instruction manual twice to make sure I've done it correctly and I have so not quite sure what that is I don't know if anyone else experienced that leave a comment but uh, it works absolutely fine and there's no issues seated and the bike's fine the frame's fine so all good so big thumbs up for the Wahoo Kicker uh, version 5 is it? yep version 5 so uh, great thank you very much for watching please like share subscribe and I'll see you after I burst myself in these intervals. Bye bye.